<sighs> Welcome to Mindful Mondays. Mindful Mondays, the holiday edition. <laughs> so if you guys buy into the holiday hustle, you might be feeling a little frazzled or uh, maybe like you could actually skip your yoga practice, but I'm here to gently suggest that we continue this practice and that we be accountability buddies for one another. Because when things get really busy, this morning we had some house guests and I was fixing breakfast for everyone and running around, and, um, but I was not gonna miss my yoga with you. So um, if you are ever inclined to skip your practice, um, just during, especially during these busy times, just see if you can set up some kind of a system for yourself so that it, it, you just can't. So one thing I do is I lay out my mat so that every time I walk by this room, I see my mat there. And I, sometimes I just jump on and, you know, move through a few asanas just to, just because it's there. So see if you can set up some kind of a system so that your schedule is cleared regardless. And then there will be times when we miss and um, that's when we, that's when we really want to get back to our practice. That's when we know yoga has gotten into our blood and our bones. So that's a good thing. So let's start seated or laying down on your mat. Find a comfortable position for yourself to start. And during these busy times, meditation always brings me back to center, always, always. So let's just start with a little bit of centering. So lift your heart, draw your shoulders down and away. Assume that bright position. And then feel your seat supported by the mat beneath you. Allow the crown of your head to reach toward the heavens. Just come into this present moment. So regardless of what's going on around you, let's bring our awareness inside and notice what's going on inside. So beginning with the head, <laughs> notice the thoughts. Just notice them. Don't judge them, just notice. And bring your awareness to your heart, your emotional self. What do you notice? What's going on? Just be present to it for just a moment. And then allow your awareness to Encompass your whole physical body. Notice if there are any, anything that's calling out to you, anything that you're feeling. No judgment, just notice, just be present to yourself. And bring your awareness to your breath. Allowing that breath to be our anchor throughout this practice. You might decide you want to constrict the back of your throat a little bit and try some ujjayi breath. It's that ocean sound. I don't know if you can hear me, but it kind of sounds like Darth Vader. And just slow down your inhalation, filling up belly, ribs, lungs. And slow down your exhalation even more, letting go, releasing the breath slowly. Just bringing your awareness to your breath. Feeling each inhalation, 
and each slow exhalation noticing if your mind draws you back to that whatever was was a, filling your mind notice that and just come back to your breath Just allow a few moments of silent breath work to nurture you. Bring you back home to yourself. Before we blink open our eyes, just notice the change you've affected and see if there's one more spot that you can just surrender on your physical, emotional, and mental selves. See if you can give way to this practice, giving yourself permission to just be present to yourself as we move through some shapes and enjoy our breath and movement together. So as you're ready, blink open your eyes, take your arms out wide, inhale, reach up, look up, and draw your hands down to heart center, chin to chest. Perhaps there's an intention that arose out of your exploration of yourself. Maybe create an intention for this practice. If nothing comes to mind, don't worry, inhale, reach up, And exhale, hands come to heart, chin comes to chest. This time, really bring your chin down to your chest. Get that first stretch of the back of the neck. One more. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Bow. When you're ready, switch the cross of your legs if you're seated. Um, Yeah, and if you weren't seated, come on up to, to a seat. Inhale, reach up. Get really long in the side body and take your right arm over to the right. Lift your left arm up and overhead. Keep that left hip on the floor as you side bend over toward the right. Take your gaze under your left arm. Nice big breath in as you turn your torso over toward the left. Just a gentle twist here. One more breath in and then exhale. Take your left hand to the left side of the mat. Walk it on over. Side bend to the left. Reach that right arm overhead and take your gaze under your right arm. And then gentle twist toward the center, a little torso twist. We'll move a little quicker with the breath. So inhale, switch to the other side. And exhale. Inhale, switch. We'll take it over to the left. Big breath and exhale, let something go. Right hip stays on the floor. Let's take one more. Each side, moving with your breath. And keeping that ujjayi breath, if that's working for you, or just a nice deep yogic breath. Good, breathe in. And exhale, take your hands behind you, fingers point toward you, feet plant, knees bend. Inhale, lift your hips, come into a reverse tabletop. Maybe look up, maybe lift your hips a little higher. And then exhale, lower your hips to the floor. Take your legs from side to side. Give yourself some windshield washers, waking up those hips. And then sitting up nice and tall, bring your heels as close in as you can. Give yourself a big hug. Shine your heart forward. Look up. And as you exhale, round forward. Take that little seated cat cow. So move through a few of these as you give yourself a hug. Good. Last one, chin comes to chest, belly draws into spine. 
Give your upper back an extra stretch here. So as you round forward, just take your hands to your elbows and let that upper back stretch nice and long. And then release your legs. You can just send them forward. Point and flex a couple of times. And take your arms out wide. We'll take a hug in the opposite way. So whichever arm was across, just give yourself a chance to um, switch the cross. And then leave that right arm extended. Give your shoulder a little stretch here. Take some wrist circles. You can flex your feet to keep your legs engaged. Good, and then take this right arm up and overhead. Give your tricep a little stretch. The left hand can come to the right elbow. Give yourself a pat on the back as you do. Good job for showing up. Yes, we did it. And then take your left arm across. Few, few little wrist circles, warming up the wrists. Nice. And then take that left arm up and over. Give yourself a pat and a, bicep, a tricep stretch. Good, breathe in and breathe out. And let's do, stretch those biceps. So take the fingertips pointing toward the floor. Give your biceps a stretch, one, one and then the other. Also your wrist gets a little extra stretch here before we start using all of these body parts. We'll give them a little stretch. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take our blankets, put them under our knees so we're nice and supported, and come up to a table. Find your alignment, so fingers spread, hands under shoulders, hips and knees in alignment, tops of the feet on the floor. And then just sit back with your heels, come back, just notice how your hips are feeling, and then come back forward, just explore your physical self here as we get started. And then find some stillness in your tabletop. Take a big breath in, drop your belly, lift your gaze, come into your cow pose. Keep those shoulders drawn away from the ears. And then as you exhale, you know, round into your cat. Let's move the spine back and forth. Get it all warmed up for our day. And just be present to what you notice in your body and accommodate what you notice by modifying as needed. So if you're feeling a little tight, just start slow. And if you're feeling really ready, just give yourself a little more of what you're enjoying. So modify as, as you see fit in your space. Move with the breath. So big exhalation as you round into that cat, your chin comes to your chest, your belly really draws to your spine. And a nice full inhalation as you come into your cow pose. Good. We'll take a couple more. Take as many as you like because these are so nourishing for the spine. Think about all that good fresh blood that's being redistributed throughout the body. Just bringing that flexibility, suppleness, and youthful vigor. Look, I'll, I'll just... Give us all the words. <laughs> you guys do the movements. All right, come to stillness. Find that stillness. Sophie, shake it out side to side. Get those hips warmed up. And we're going to take a little bird dog. So engaging our abs. Draw those abs into the spine before we do anything. And then take the left foot out, extend it long, and point those toes toward the floor. Again, engaging the legs, reach the right arm forward, palm facing in, find that balance. So you notice, you know, there's a little side to side action until you find that sweet spot where you can just pause. Good, keep that belly engaged, but notice what's happened to your breath. Nice full inhalation and that Ujjayi breath is a good reminder to keep the breath slow and smooth as we move through this practice. We'll take one more breath together and long exhalation as you lower your right hand and left leg. Sophie, shake it out. Awesome. Here we go. So left hand reaches forward, right foot reaches forward, toes 
point down toward the floor. Keep that leg engaged. You know that glute is also getting engaged. Congratulations, glute. Breathe in as you gaze slightly forward and down. And breathe out. Good. Breathe in. And breathe out. We're just finding that center. Good. That place where we find our stability. Physically, mentally, emotionally. Breath is our anchor. On your exhale, lower that left hand, right knee. So if you shake it out, bring your knees nice and wide. Bring your big toes to touch. And let those hips glide back slowly. Reach your arms forward. Place your head wherever it's comfortable on a block or on the mat. And breathe in. As you, as you do, see if you can claw your fingers a little farther forward. And we'll get that stretch in the upper back and the arms. And if you lift your arms off the floor, just let your fingertips claw the mat. Take a nice big breath in. And a slow breath out, and then just let your elbows rest. You can bring your hands to clasp, and just place them behind your head. See if you can put a little, just a little bit of weight, if it feels okay, and give your neck a little stretch, a little encouragement to sink a little deeper into this, this child's pose. Let's take two breaths here together. So if you're constricting the back of the throat, you might feel that warmth. You might feel like you're at the ocean. <laughs> On the next breath in, we'll take our hands to the mat. Slowly peel your way back up through your tabletop and tuck your toes and just lean back as we did before. This time we'll get a stretch of the feet. A little bit of weight comes off of the wrists. And then come back forward. We'll spread our fingers nice and wide. Press into all the joints of the fingers. And that little meaty part between the pointer finger and the thumb. And then press into your feet as you begin to gently, slowly lift your hips. Come into your mindful Monday downward facing dog. Move your props out of the way. And then take a walk with your dog. Bending one knee and then the other, gazing back towards your lovely knees. Breath slow. And then press your heels toward the floor as you lift your hips a little bit higher. Notice what's going on in your neck and shoulders. See if you can soften. Nice big breath in. And a long breath out. Keeping that focus on yourself. Lift your toes. I mean, lift your heels. <laughs> See, I'm focusing on myself. There, that was a good sign. And then lower your heels back toward the floor. As you inhale, take a gander forward toward where your hands are and make your way toward the front of your mat. Slow walk is really good. And then just release your wrists again. We'll just be kind to our wrists. So take some circles. And decide, maybe you want to come into ragdoll with your knees bent. Maybe you want to take your arms back behind you and clasp them and take a more of a shoulder opener today. My necklace is in my mouth, so I'll remove that. And as you're ready, just bend your knees a little bit more. Bring your belly towards your thighs. And then slowly straighten the legs to a point that's comfortable for you and your lower back. Soften the back of the neck. Keep the breath smooth. And on your next inhalation, take your, your, um, your gaze under your left shoulder. So if your arms are lifted above your head, you'll, you'll take your arms over toward the right. And on your exhalation, come back through center. And then on your inhalation, we'll take the arms over to the left if your arms are lifted. And your gaze over to the right. Good. On your exhalation, come back to center. 
let it all go and we'll bend our knees slowly root to rise coming all the way up one vertebra at a time make it slow and easy inhale to reach up get really tall maybe come up on your toes test your balance maybe look up maybe maybe <laughs> and then as you're ready bring your hands down to heart center we'll come into mountain pose anjali mudra just take this moment to uh, press your thumbs into your sternum and just pause here. Maybe close your eyes. Tune back into the heart center here. Notice what you're feeling. Just notice how you're doing. And then as you're ready, release your hands. Come into a mountain pose. So shoulders come up to your ears and then round them back. Just take a few loops of the shoulders. Let the palms face forward. And then let, let those shoulders rest down. Make them really far away from the ears as much as you can. Tuck your chin. Take your gaze forward. Find that mountain pose. And then not to be all strict with it, let's just soften a little bit in this mountain pose. So how can we be present when we're all strict? Let's just let, let loose a little bit, maybe shake it out. Take a nice big breath to remind you to be present here in this mountain pose. And just check in with the physical body. So from top to bottom, just check in, notice how you feel. One more breath in, and a long breath out. When you're ready, reach up, look up, and exhale, swan dive forward. Come into your forward fold, bending your knees as much as you need to protect your lower back. Inhale, come to your halfway lift. So half table, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, we'll take our hands to the floor and step all the way back. Left foot and then right. Right foot and then left, doesn't matter. We'll come through a plank or you can lower your knees and the tops of the feet and come all the way down to the floor. And then just place your forehead, your third eye on the floor. Hands come to the outsides of the shoulders. Take a moment. Breathe in here, and with your head on the floor, just notice, notice your thoughts. Just give, give yourself a moment. How's your mind? Are you ready to move forward? When you're ready, take a big breath in and press your hands into the floor. All the joints of the fingers come into your first cobra. Good, little back bend, be gentle, come start slow. And exhale, lower down. We'll take two more. <clears throat> Good. Press into all the joints of the fingers. Use the strength of your arms. Press up. Gentle back bend. Exhale as you lower. One more, and then we'll come all the way up through downward facing dog. So come up through your table or tuck your toes, lift your hips. Down dog, walk it out, and then find stillness. Find your down dog, so pressing those heels back, lifting the hips, getting that length in the spine. Should feel so good if it doesn't bend your knees as much as you need to. When you're ready, inhale, look forward, see where you're going to end up. We will meet at the front of the mat however you want to get there, so you can bend your knees and take a little bunny hop or take a little walk. Once you get there, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes, bend your knees as much as you need to, draw your elbows out, come into your forward fold. A little bit deeper this time, so maybe you decide to play with bending one knee and then the other, maybe looking under one shoulder and then the other. And then find stillness. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Let's take one more breath here 
And see if we can let go of tension somewhere. And then as you're ready, release your fingers. We're going to root to rise, coming up one vertebra at a time, just slowly, 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 reaching the arms up. Big inhalation. And then take a hold of your left wrist with your right hand. Come on over toward the right. Take a side bend. <clears throat> feet firmly planted. Good. Both feet, <clears throat> both sides of all four sides, right? Toes and heels and right and left sides of the feet firmly planted on the ground, rooted. Good. Breathe in as you come back up to center and take an exhale as you come down to the left side, over to the left side. Make that C shape with your body. Keep both feet planted. Good. Breath in as you stretch that right side body and breath out as you come back up to center. And then take your arms and clasp them behind you a different way. (laughs) So let one thumb, the thumb that feels a little awkward, be on top. And then squeeze your shoulders together as you take a gentle back bend. Good. Let's take a breath. Let that breath be our anchor. And then exhale. Let it go. Let's just shake it out. Shake it out. Shake your right hand right and left. Shake your left hand up and down. Just a little transition. Shake your left hand left and right. Shake your right hand up and down. I don't know about you, but I think I'm getting good at this. Might be my imagination. When you're ready, we'll meet at the front of the mat. Lift and spread your toes and then press your pinky toe, your fourth, your third, your second, and your big toe into the mat. Engage your legs. Inhale, root to rise. Reach up and exhale, forward fold. Fingertips to floor or blocks. Inhale, let yourself come into your halfway lift. And exhale, take your hands to the mat or blocks. Step your right leg back. Way back, get that nice long runner's lunge and take your right hand to block or floor. Peel your left arm up, open up, take a twist. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Maybe take a little arm circle here if your shoulders could use a little stretch. And on your next exhalation, frame that left foot, come up to your fingertips And then spin your right foot so it's flat at an angle and your left heel is going to cross the midsection that your arch of your right foot as you rise up and come into a warrior two. Just like that. Here we are. Good. So that left knee over the left ankle, tracking a little bit more toward the pinky toe, reach your arms out from your shoulders, take up some space. Good. Take a big breath in as you gaze over your your left fingertips. Good. Inhale as you straighten your left leg, reach your arms up above your head, and exhale as you slide back down, warrior two. Enjoy the stretch. It's stretchy and it's strengthening. Just notice, inhale, reach up, take your palms together above your crown, and exhale, sink back down. Good. Let's take one more. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome. You've got this. Flip your left palm. Take a peaceful warrior. Make, some, make a peace sign with your left fingers. Excellent. And exhale. Take your hands. Bring them down. Spin your right foot so it's facing forward. Come back into that runner's lunge. And then we're going to take our hands to blocks or floor and send that left foot up to the sky, reaching up. Get long. And then lower the left foot to the floor. Walk it out and find stillness. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then look forward, decide where you're going to land, decide if you're going to walk or hop or skip and get up to the front of the mat. Find your forward fold, release your wrists, 
Come into a rag doll this time. Straighten your legs a little bit more if that's available to you and just soften. Shake your head yes and no. Take a big breath in and an exhale to release that back a little bit more. And then root to rise, bending your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, rise up. Take a hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Take your side bend. Good, big breath in. And a long breath out. Another breath in. Come back up to center and take yourself over to the right side. Stretch, keeping those feet firmly planted, you know. Nice big breath in. Long breath out. See if you can soften here and come back to center. Take whatever back bend feels good. So maybe it's a goddess, cactus arms. Maybe you open up that way. Maybe you really liked reaching for your clasp and shining your heart up toward the sky. Just enjoy your back bend. And then slowly on your exhalation, release. We'll come forward into our forward fold, slowly bending the knees as much as you need to. And then inhale, halfway lift here. Find that half lift. Gazing slightly downward, shoulders away from the ears. And on your next exhalation, take your hands to floor or blocks and step your yeah, left leg back. <laughs> Take your left hand to the inside of the right leg. Take your twist. Good. Beautiful twist. Decide if you want to take a, a circle or two. Awesome. And then on your exhalation, right hand comes down to join the left. We're going to spin the left foot to flat, taking it at an angle and lining up that right heel with the arch of the left foot. Rise on up. Come into your warrior two on this side. So take that right knee over the right ankle, and if it wants to kind of hang out over toward the big toe, see if you can send it over toward the pinky toe a little bit more. Reach out, get really long. And when you're ready, inhale, straighten the right leg, bring your palms together overhead. Exhale, sink back down. Excellent. Inhale, reach up, straighten. And exhale, sink. Good. One more. So strong. Beautiful. Exhale. Warrior two. Gaze out over those fingertips. Shoulders down away from the ears. You can feel your, your traps getting all engaged back there. Congratulations. And then flip that right palm. Peaceful warrior on this side. You can make a peace sign. Good, keep pressing into the left side of the left foot as well as keeping that knee tracking, that right knee tracking over the, toward the pinky toe. Good, one more breath in. Exhale your way back to warrior two. And then spin your left foot so it's facing forward. Take your right hand and left hand to frame the right foot. Send your right foot back to meet your left. We'll come into your down dog. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath in. Find that stillness. Find that center point. And then breathe in as you lift your left leg up high. Look forward and send that left leg forward. We're going to rise up again, warrior two, going straight into our warrior pose. You know where you need to be with your alignment, so just get yourself set up. And then from here, straighten the left leg. We're going to come into triangle pose. So left arm comes down to block or inside. This is a great place for a block if you have it handy. Inside this um, left shin. <clears throat> lift your right arm up and see if you can take your gaze up there. So this is another little twist of the torso toward the center. And keep pressing into all four sides of the feet. So really powerful pose here. Breathe in. 
and breathe out. Good, look down at your block if it's there. Look down at your floor if it's not. And you can take your block and just set it somewhere in front of you. And then we're gonna rise back up and turn your uh, feet so they're facing forward. And then take those feet, so the toes, so they're facing outward. Good. And then bring your hands to whatever position you like. So it could be a clasp, could be reverse namaste, could be hands on hips. And then we're gonna come into a halfway lift here. Good. Breath in as you gaze down toward the floor. Decide if you're gonna stay here as we move into our hamstrings a little bit more. Maybe you exhale as you come down to the floor. And if your block is right there, maybe you place your block on your forehead or the crown of your head, and then your arms reach to clasp. Good. Find some stillness here. With the block on your crown chakra, check in with your spirit. How's your spirit doing? Come back to your breath. That might give you a clue. If it's choppy, smooth it out. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, take your hands to your waist, your hips, and slowly use the strength of your abs and your legs to rise back up. And we're we, we will take our warrior two to the other side. So the right foot uh, spins forward and the left foot spins at that angle. Then line up your heel and your arch. Send your arms out nice and long. Extend them out from your shoulders. Gaze over those right fingertips. Beautiful. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, straighten that right leg. And we'll take our right arm to the inside of the right leg. Again, using your, your block as needed or fingertips come to just the inside of this right leg. Press into the outside of the left foot as you lift your left arm. Maybe take your gaze on up. So the torso will twist from this right rib cage You'll feel this beautiful twist, so strong. Nice stretch for the legs, triangle pose. We love it. Breathe in one more time. And as you breathe out, bend your right knee, send your arms back out, warrior two. And then we'll come forward through that um, star pose this time. So toes point outward, arms extend, get really, really expansive. And then draw your arms back. See if you can squeeze your shoulder blades together a little bit more. Breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna take one more forward fold. So maybe you bring your hands to your elbows and cross them behind you and come into your forward fold. Let your head come down to your block or just dangle wherever you are. Soften the back of the neck and breathe here. Excellent. We'll take one more breath. Long exhalation as you release your hands to the floor. Use the fingertips to press yourself up halfway. And then bring your hands to your hips and rise on up. You can decide if you're adventurous and you want to take a little hop or you want to heel toe your feet back in and come to the center of your mat. No need to look at me. I'm going to be wobbly, but you can listen to my voice. Bring your feet right underneath your hips. Stand up nice and tall. Find that center again. So maybe tune into your, your heart or your solar plexus. Just take your hand Place one hand over belly, one hand over heart, and just close your eyes here. See if you can find that center. Tune into your breath, close your eyes. And then when you're ready, release that, blink open your eyes, bring your weight to your left foot. Bring your right foot to your toes. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you lift up hugging your right knee in towards your chest. Maybe you stay here. 
before we move on, if we decide to move on, take your gaze to something in front of you that's not moving. Find a drishti, a good old dependable drishti. And if you'd like to go a little bit further, you can reach down for your right toe and send that leg forward and balance here. We never know what's going to happen with our balance from day to day. So just give yourself some good slack. Maybe you open that up. Hand, left hand can stay on hip or I haven't done this in a while, so who knows what's going to happen. Good. When you're ready, we're going to slowly come back out the same way we came in, taking each step one at a time and then lower that right foot, do some Sophie shakes, let it go and bring your feet underneath your hips, lift and spread your toes, commit Send those roots down into the earth and bring your, you bring your uh, weight into your right leg. And then come up on your left toes. Maybe this is good enough. Find your drishti. Maybe this is where you stay on this side. Maybe you want to hug that knee in. Good. Find your steady, whatever you can do to steady yourself. A drishti, a dependable drishti is always good. Keep your breath as smooth as you can. And if you want to go a little bit further on this side, take a hold of your big toe, send your heel forward. Right hand can go to hip or extend outward to give you a little more balance. And maybe you open it up toward the left. Good. Again, don't look at me. Look at your drishti. Keep your breath smooth. Come back the same way, no matter what happens. Commit to that, lower down. Whew, yeah, good. Sophie, shake it out. Something to work on by a wall or with a chair. Good. When you're ready, we'll come to the top of our mat. Inhale, reach up. Yes, we did that. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your hands to the floor, step your right leg back, step your left leg back, lower your knees, lower your left cheek to the floor, and come on down to your back. Lower all the way down slowly as you can. Take your knees and hug them into your chest. Give yourself a moment. Ah, Let yourself arrive. Let's take a nice big breath and a long exhale through the mouth. See if you can soften your shoulders. Good. Send that left leg long. Keep that right knee hugged in. Take a hold of the right side of the right foot. Let's come into a half happy baby. So draw that right knee in toward the right shoulder. And see if you can let that left hip just soften toward the floor. Breathe in. Maybe you extend that leg long. Maybe you want to play with that stretch that on the floor. Maybe you take it across the body, switching hands. Or maybe you just stay in your half happy baby and breathe. And one more breath in. And a slow breath out. And then slowly release. We'll switch. Send that right leg long. Come into your half. Half happy. (laughs) On the left. To draw that left knee in. This is also a place if you have a strap. You can use your strap. Why not? You can let your strap give you a little assistance there. If your arms are a little shorter. And some of us have longer arms. Some of us have longer legs. We're all different. So decide. Straighten it out. Play. Maybe take it across the body. Or just stay in your half happy baby for just another round of breath. Good. And then as you're ready... Slowly release that left leg, get long, point your toes, take your arms 
overhead, take a full body stretch. <sighs> and let it go. We'll bring our heels up towards our hips and then take your hips and bump them over to the right. Hug your knees in and just let them drop over toward the left. Open your right arm out to a T. Turn your gaze toward the right and twist. Open up the right shoulder, soften, soften the face and the jaw. And let this, all the muscles in the side body just soften and surrender in this twist. Nice full breath in, giving you that luscious internal massage. So good, sending all that good blood flow to nooks and crannies we didn't even know were there. When you're ready, inhale back to center, hug it in, and take your knees, oh, sorry, bump them to the left. We did that, we did that. Let's do it on the right. Take them over to the right, turn your head to the left. Sometimes I like to encourage my legs down by taking my hand to my outer thighs and just placing a little bit of weight there. Nice big breath and surrender. Softening the jaw, softening the brow. Softening the hip. Which one is more challenging? When you're ready, slowly come back to center. Set yourself up for your Shavasana, so whatever that means for you. So blanket, over belly, over whole body, under your neck here. Just make yourself super comfy and allow yourself to settle in because you deserve it. You did that. Good job. When you land on the floor, start to become aware, just softly aware of the support of the floor, the support of your mat, the support of your fellow yogis on this journey, those who have shown up, regardless of all the external stimulation that is happening outside these doors. We make a commitment to ourselves. So let's make a commitment to just be for the next couple of minutes and just let this practice integrate body, mind, and spirit. If you're comfortable where you are, stay right there. If you'd like to begin to slowly awaken your body, your mind, your heart, just begin to make some small movements, wiggle fingers and toes, turn your head from side to side.
And if you'd like to roll to one side and curl up in that fetal position, just take a moment there, transitioning slowly. Taking a moment to notice and appreciate what you've done, how you've shown up for yourself, and our accountability buddies. I'm grateful for you. When you're ready, use the strength of your arms to join me in a comfortable seat. Just let your eyes close here for a moment. Notice your posture. Notice your hips. A little more spacious, perhaps. Maybe there's a softness to your face and a little curl of a smile on your lips. When you're ready, take your arms out wide. Reach up. Reach up for all the goodness. Draw it right on down through the center of your body to your heart center and let your chin bow to your own heart. Take a moment to check in with your heart. And if you're feeling spacious and generous and grateful, send some of that to someone who could need it, who might need it this very moment. And when you're ready, lift your gaze, take a little virtual bow to your fellow accountability buddies. Thank you guys for showing up, for being present to yourselves. This world needs more of that. Truly. Namaste. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you guys. Have a great day.